Hello and welcome to my beauty and feminism channel. Um, at the point of making this video, I still don't have a name for it, so I'm not saying that right now. Um, but anyways, uh, my name is LaCrista and I created something called Gorilla Feminism. So feel free to look into that if you're interested. Um, but I also really love makeup and I'm now trying to do some makeup and feminism videos where I basically do my makeup and talk about feminism. So if that's not interesting to you, then you might not want to watch this. <laughs> um, or if you're not into makeup at all, you really might not want to watch this. I don't know. Maybe you'll want to, whatever. So today I'm just going to do a fairly basic look, pretty much how I do my makeup daily because some days I really want to do like I want to put in a lot of effort and then other days I'm like nah fuck this like I am too tired <laughs> or something so um this is a day where I don't really feel like I want to put in that much effort so I will start by talking about I mean I'll, I'll talk about the products as I'm using them as well as the feminist uh topic for the day. So today I want to talk about performative allyship because it's a big fucking problem, um, specifically in social justice and um, uh, feminist spaces. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to get into the shit of that. Uh, so anyways, what I'm first going to use, this little thing, which I don't know if this really works. Um, but I'll list the products below because I can't for the life of me remember what the brand is of this. But it's so fucking cute. Um, it's a so cool eye stick. And how it works is, so it looks like this. It's kind of not the best packaging. It's This thing has fallen out on me like more than once, which is really annoying. But you just kind of, you know, put it on your under eyes. It's supposed to de-puff. I mean, I don't know if it really does that. It feels good, like it's, it's, it's cooling and it's, you know, but I don't know that it actually, like, does what it's supposed to do. Um, but it's so fucking cute too. Um, so that's the first thing. So performative allyship is something I see a lot, specifically um, on Gorilla Feminism's Instagram account. Um, and, Oh God, it's disgusting. Um, I, you know, I see a lot of dudes who, who want to be feminists and that's great. Um, or who want to help out the cause, right? And that's great. However, if your allyship or your, um, I'm putting a primer on right now, the Smashbox photo finish, um, if your allyship is, you know, conditional, meaning that, like, you don't really give a shit about the issue at hand, you really kind of just want to do it because you think it makes you look cool or, you know, whatever, whatever bullshit um, you're telling yourself. Like, that's not true allyship, okay? Um, I, I see, like... Just the other night, I had some dude comment on a post saying, well, so what do you want? Do you want male allies or not? <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't want you. If you're my fucking choice, then no, I don't. Thanks. Um, God, I have such a big forehead. Shout out to everyone with big foreheads. Five heads or whatever. So... That shit's, like, really annoying, right? Like, because that's like, sounds really conditional and, like, kind of ultimatum-y and gross. And, like, you shouldn't be doing that. I'm using Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, which I'm super fucking into because it's lightweight. And it's, you know, it's a tinted hydrating gel cream, so it's not at all full co coverage, but that's fine with me. Um, anyways... 
So this guy said that and I was just like, yeah, um, no, I don't want male allies if they're gonna act like you. And the, here's the thing, feminism is not a movement that was started by men or for men, okay? It wasn't. Um, certainly not cis men, okay? <laughs> so when we talk about that, like, it's really, it's not a movement for you if you're a dude, if you're a cis dude. Um, can you partake in it? Sure. Like, I'm all for men who, like, legit give a fuck about the cause and um, want to help and, and better themselves and better society. But if your reasons for doing that are, you know, because you, you feel like it makes you look cool or some other BS, like, that's where I have a problem. And, like, let's just, let's not do that, okay? <laughs> let's just, let's not. Um, so I'm going to be using Tarte's Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium Honey. This shit is, can, I don't know how much YouTube lets you swear, so I don't know. But um, this stuff is really, really good. Um, so... I just think, like, if we're gonna, you know, include men in our feminism, then let's include the right ones and not just, like, any men, because um, I don't think that that is gonna be a good time for anybody. So I am somebody who has acne-prone skin, if you can't tell. You're really sweet to lie if you say that you can't, because I do. Um, always have, probably always will. And that's okay. Um, love the skin that you're in. I mean, easier said than done. I'm not, like, trying to be a turd about it, but, like, you know, there's some truth to that, if you can. So... I see a lot of, I mean, we can talk about performative allyship too as in terms of like us white people, right? Who like <laughs> really want to fucking get like ally cookies left and right um, just for being like decent white people, right? Because, you, you know, that happens all the time too. And it's really gross. Um, anybody who like centers so if you're less oppressed than somebody else if you are at a protest or wherever supporting some cause of more marginalized people and you make it about yourself in some way like and you're you're decentering the more marginalized people like what the fuck are you even doing then like that is that's performative allyship that is not true allyship so don't do that shit. I don't know. It just mostly, like... <laughs> it bugs me, though, to see how many men get really upset. And I'm sure, okay, everybody's gonna be like, God, you're such a man-hater for this video. Okay, no. Like, I hate that I even have to say this, but, like, obviously I don't hate men. I date men. I have a boyfriend. I love my father. I love my brother. Like give me a fucking break, okay? Um, it's not about hating individual men, but men, this, like, as a system and as a whole are fucking trash, okay? Like, sorry, it's true. Um, and legit men know that and understand that and are not dicks about it. This whole video probably isn't even gonna be able to be allowed on YouTube. Anyways, um, <laughs> so I'm going to now, I'm like trying to think of what I'm going to do next because I didn't really um, lay this out, like prepare it too much, if you can't tell. Um, I'm going to use, though, I think, um, I love this eyeliner, pencil eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury. As you can see, like if you can see, it is, it is very small now because I have used, 
used I use this like pretty much daily. Um, the color is oh shoot it's already it's like you can't even tell oh Verushka mink I can just see mink but I think it's Verushka mink. So um, it's sort of a it's like a dark brown but it has kind of some notes of listen to me notes. Um, I'm gonna say that though. It has some notes of almost kind of purple, like a dark, like a violet, like a dark, like a dark purple brown, kind of, if that makes sense. I don't know. You can't really tell um, based on in this video, but um, it works really nicely with, with dark eyes. So since I am someone who has dark brown eyes, um, it does well for me. So how I'm gonna use this, I always like to line like right up here, sort of, yeah, underneath, and I go about halfway in, which kind of takes a few, takes a few tries because, you know, it feels kind of weird to like have a pencil in your eye. <laughs> So I do it there and then I'll also do it like right sort of not in the waterline but just underneath. Um, but yeah, like this whole, you know, this performative allyship is just really bothersome because it's like people trying really hard to look good, which does nothing to help further any cause, right? It's completely like self-serving, really. Which is unfortunate because I know that there are decent men and, you know, et cetera, who like actually do give a shit and actually do stuff um, and are great allies. Um, but the, I honestly feel like the majority are not those people at this point, and that's really shitty, and that sucks. So, I don't know. I don't know if y'all can relate or if you think I'm full of shit. I'm sure since this is YouTube, I will hear really quickly, um, regardless if I want to. Well, it's fine. It's public space. Um, so I do it halfway because that sort of opens up the eye a bit more, or so I've been told. I don't know. Um, I'm not a fucking makeup artist. Like, I do this shit for fun. Um, I have no cosmetology background, education, so please feel free to correct me in the comments. <laughs> um, but that has been what, that's what I've been told. Also, like, love to all my hooded eyed people because we don't get enough love. Ow, see, and then when you do that, you accidentally prick yourself and it hurts and you're like, why do I do this? Yeah, that, that happens. Especially when you do it up here, because you have to be very careful and try not to stab yourself in the eye. The things we do for makeup, you know, I'm like, yeah, I'll put, I'll shove this in my eye, sure. So I also wanted to talk about, besides performative allyship, I also wanted to talk about sort of for people who don't know what guerrilla feminism is and like what... What I do there, um, there, it's not like a physical place. Well, it is, but it's not, you know. So Guerrilla Feminism is a global feminist resource network. Um, it's had many evolutions and I'm fairly happy with where it is currently, but um, we are obviously like, you know, we're, we're feminist, we're anti-racist, anti-ableist, um, anti, you know, homophobic, anti-transphobic, pro-sex work, 
um, anti-swerfs, of course, so sex worker, exclusionary, radical feminist, um, were, were anti-turfs, trans exclusionary, radical feminists, um, and yeah, um, anti-classism, all that stuff too. Um, so I started it in 2011 after I was a year out of grad school, um, and working for a really horrible boss who was verbally abusive. So that was, that was a fun time. Um, and I started it really as like a street campaign. Um, it didn't really go anywhere. I couldn't really get people involved. So I was like, all right, I'm going to make a Facebook page. And, um, it got really big really quickly. Um, and currently it's at 146,000, I think. I don't, I don't know exactly. Um, but, and then our, the Instagram is at, um, 114,000, I think. Yeah. Um, so I do digital curation. I do original content. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, it really, ow, see, fucking stabbed myself in the eye again, you guys. Ugh. Anyways, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this, the liner down because I'm just gonna, only going to hurt myself. So, um, which if you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, please do if you want. Um, but yeah, it's, I try to make it a safe space. So as safe of a space as you can have on the internet, which, you know, is kind of impossible. Um, but to do that, I do block people a lot. Um, I, I use that block button real fast. I'm not afraid to use it. Um, and that's really how I continue to, you know, keep it as a safer space because um, if I didn't block, then it wouldn't be a safer space uh, because there would be tons of troll comments and horrible things said, um, as I'm sure this video will get too. So we'll see. Um, but, you know, I've heard it all before. It doesn't really phase me. Like, I've gotten death threats. I've gotten rape threats. That shit's a little scary, but, like, not a little. It is scary. Um, but, like, your typical, like, go make me a sandwich, like... Are we still doing that? Like, that's from the 70s. That's 70s sexism. Like, what does your 2017 sexism look like? That's what I want to know. Come on. You can do better than that. For my mascara, I'm going to use Rollerball by Roller Lash Rollerball um, by Benefit, which is pretty good. Um, I have fairly long lashes, but they're very light in color. So I don't need typically too much um, mascara. And I don't, I'm not really into the whole fake lash scene. I mean, I use them from time to time, but I'm really just like too tired to fucking <laughs> deal with that shit. So I don't. Um, more power to you if you want to do fake lashes, but I just, maybe it's because I suck at putting them on. I mean, I'm sure it's like, anything, you know, you get used to it and, um, you know, the more you do it and it becomes easier and you put them on in no time. But for me, I just don't really care to get used to it, I guess. I don't know. Um, so yeah, the, I mean, I do, you know, I, like I said, I block regularly and it's interesting how that is seen as a weakness and, and like such a, um, like I'm shutting down discussion or I'm censoring you. I mean, I am censoring you, um, but it's like I'm censoring bigoted stuff, you know? Um, like people write some really heinous shit on the internet and they have their full names attached to it so they don't care, um, which 
don't do that if you don't want me to contact your mother because I've done that and it's worked out in my favor. Just saying. So, I don't know. I mean, I still, like, I still, even though people give me shit for that, I still block people left and right because... Life is too short. Also, like, you're lying to yourself if you think you're trying to have a discussion when you're literally just saying a bunch of filth to me. Um, and that's the thing, like, GF is not a, it, it's not a debate space. It never has been, it never will be. Um, and I am very cognizant of that, um, that is intentional. There are millions of safe, or not safe spaces, <laughs> of um, debate spaces on the internet. Feel free to, you know, take your pick. So for brows, I do Brow Powder Duo in Auburn from Anastasia, of course. Doesn't everybody use her shit? God, she must be so fucking wealthy. Um, I have fairly decent brows. I think, but I mean, they could be better. I mean, you know, I was a teen, like, in the late 90s, and so that's when it was like, oh yeah, over pluck, like, pluck the shit out of your eyebrows. And I did, and so <laughs> um, that's when, like, thin eyebrows were in. And so I definitely um, have some, like, loss from that, right? Because... I think my eyebrows would have been thicker had I not done that. Um, but, you know, I do okay with them now. I also sometimes will rub coconut oil on them. It seems to help with, like, growth. Um, I mean, coconut oil just helps with everything. Like, really, it does. It's magic. Um... So I really use this more so to kind of shape them because, I mean, the color is nice too, but I really kind of more so use it as like a shaping tool because my brows without it just are not, they're just not shaped as well, you know? Um, so, <sighs> anyways. So, I don't know, I think like, the issue with, like, the internet is, well, where should I begin? Um, so many people think, like, yeah, it's a public space, so, like, I can say whatever I want, no consequences, like, fuck this bitch, whatever. Okay, yes, it's a public space, and you can certainly say whatever you want. Um, however, you there are consequences for your actions. Um, and... I mean, I've seen people get fired and shit for saying fucked up shit um, on the internet. And I don't feel bad for that. I don't feel bad for those people because you're going to say racist, sexist, bigoted, fucked up shit on the internet and have and be so ridiculous to have your name, your full fucking name attached to it. It's fair game. Um, so, I don't know. People who want to whine about... You know, it's funny because all these trolls call feminists, like, they call us whiners and shit, and, like, all we do is complain and, like, whatever. I'm, it's like, no, it's, that's you. Like, you are the people who are complaining all the time. And you're the ones who are seeking us out, which is even more bizarre to me because I don't go into conservative spaces and start, like, spewing shit, like, you know, whatever. I don't go on there and try to be, like... God, why aren't you guys feminists? Ugh. So, I just, I mean, I've never wanted to waste my time in that way. I could waste my time in just so many better ways, you know? Like, fuck. I really need to probably pluck some, some brows, but um, whatever. 
some brows, some hair on my brows is what I mean. So see, I mean, I kind of do this quickly because I don't really care, but I kind of care. That's like pretty much my <laughs> feelings about my, like doing my makeup. Like I care, but I don't really care. Like that's my MO for makeup. Makeup is really a toy for me and it's like, a, like, it's just, it's fun, you know? Um, and that's why I do it. The only thing I hate about it is that it's so fucking expensive, most of it. I mean, there is some good shit you can get for not too bad, but... <sighs> but I also have expensive taste, so I'm, like, into that crap, you know? I'm a sucker for, like, whatever. So I do this and then I do, I don't know, I don't remember when I started using, doing it this way, but so I use the Anastasia stuff and then I follow up with Glossier's Boy Brow in, I believe, oh yeah, it's just brown. Um, I really like this. I like it on its own too. So like for days where I'm, I especially don't wanna do shit, I, I'll just kind of like put this on and, and not even do the Anastasia. But I like this kind of on top of the Anastasia because it it just makes my brows a bit more um, three-dimensional, I guess, and like real looking and not, cause I'm not super into that look, at least not for myself. I mean, I think it looks good on other people, but I'm not super into making my brows look like fake or like unreal or you know um I think some people pull that off really well I just don't think I could um and it's just not my personal preference to do my brows like that so no shade to people who like that look or to people who do their brows that way you do you um this is just my how I like them my hair's a fucking mess. That's cool though. Um, so then, what am I gonna do? I guess I'm just gonna, like, I'm gonna end here with just some, of course, the Laura Mercier setting powder, translucent. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I just think, like, we should all be more intentional of online spaces, which, oh, I was gonna do blush. Fuck. Um, I'll have to see in my little bag here. Where's my blush? Um, I, yeah, I just think we all need to be a bit more intentional. Okay, so I'm gonna use this NARS Gulu. I don't know how to, it's, it was like, it's a sample size that I don't remember where I got, but it's a pretty, like, it's fairly light pink. Um, it works well though on olive skin tone. Um, so yeah, I think we all need to be more intentional about how we use online spaces. Um, like, if you care about people at all, like, think about things before you type them, you know? I mean, you don't have to be a dick. Like, you can, or, and also, if you disagree with somebody about whatever, like, you can just leave them alone. You don't have to actually, like, go after them and, you know, like, try to fuck with their shit. Um... It's just honestly, like, I don't know how anybody has the energy for that. I guess that's why it's mostly 12 to 15 year old boys because they have more energy than all of us <laughs> or something. I don't know. Um, all right, I think that's good for the translucent powder. Sometimes I will like dab it underneath my eyes, which I might do that later. We'll see what happens. 
Um, oh, well, the other thing I was gonna do, I love using a smudge brush um, like on my under eye. I should have done this before I did my mascara, um, but you know what? Fuck it. I kind of just like feathering that out a little bit. Is that what they say? I don't know. I'm not a makeup artist. I've already said that, so don't yell at me. Um, so again, this is a very like simple look that I'm going for. Um, I do sometimes venture out of this, um, which I love using the Colored Rain um, Queen of Hearts palette. Oh my God, for like everything. Um, but if you don't have this, you should seriously consider it because oh my God, it's so great. Um, I think I'm going to actually use some of the shade Crown, which is this white shade for the corner, inner corners of my eye. And I'm using a, an eyeliner brush for this. I believe it's a MAC eyeliner brush. I think I got it when I, would, I used to use their gel eyeliner a lot, um, but like there was like a couple years there where that's all I would wear. So. I don't know why I have that in my head. Gross. Um, so just a light little touch of something. And then, actually maybe I will do this right now because before I like set my, set my face. Um, But yeah, I just think, you know, if you interact on online spaces, like you don't have to be nice to people. I mean, I'm not saying like coddle people or be, you know, especially to people who are straight up assholes. But like, you also don't have to like send people death threats or rape threats, you know? Like that's, you don't need to do that. <laughs> I mean, I really don't think anybody needs to do that, to be honest. So. All right, so that's done. And now for the end, I use Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. Again, I don't know, like some people like rave about this shit and I don't really know. I personally, I can't tell if it really helps or not. Fuck. Okay, um, but I mean, I bought it, so I'm gonna use it, right? So, oh yeah, shake well, hold eight to 10 away and miss face two to four times in an X and T formation, specifically X and T. I don't know. Um, so I think I'm gonna end it here, folks. Uh, let me know what you think of this video. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm new to YouTube, so I know this is gonna get a shit ton of hate because that's like par for the course on YouTube. And uh, that's fine, you know, you do you. If that's what you feel like is going to benefit you the most. Um, doesn't seem like something I would do because whatever, but again, I'm not you. Um, also, isn't my shirt awesome? Rebel Soul, it's from Rebel Soul. Um, it's gonna be backwards though, isn't it? Or is it not? No, I think it is, fuck. Um, so it says smart women intimidate boys and excite men. take my hair out of this thing, which I got on Amazon, which actually works really fucking well, like when you're getting ready and, oh my God, my hair is a mess. I actually probably should go wash it right now. 
Um, but anyways, this is my final look. Oh my god, did my light thing go off? It did, didn't it? This is my final look with for my face. See, it's very simple. Um, you know, it's, it's not trying too hard at all. Um, so, I don't know. Let me know if you do your makeup like this or... I sometimes will do a highlight, but I have more oily skin, especially in the summer, and so I kind of just have that natural natural highlight from looking greasy and sweating. <laughs> so I kind of stay away from that sometimes. Um, I will probably do something with my lips later. Um, so, but we'll see. This is it. I hope you enjoyed this nearly 40 minute video um and let me know what else you'd want to see here what else what other parts of feminism you would want me to talk about um and i will be back soon hopefully bye